Two storied programs, the Northeastern women's and men's rowing teams continue to succeed at the highest levels of competition. The women's program capped off a successful spring season after winning their eighth straight CAA championship in May, while the men's first varsity secured an eighth place finish at the IRA championships. Returning the majority of the seats in both varsity eights, Northeastern Rowing is primed for another successful year in 2023. I think the mentality that we all bought into as a team this year was just, we're going to win, but the question is how much? And I know everyone's always the pressure of like, oh, are they going to win? Can they do it again? And I think we all have a little bit of stress going into it, but also that confidence that we have those other championships under our belt that we can move forward with. It's exciting to kind of get there and like be the champions from last year. So it's exciting to like have that title and just that confidence that comes with it. And then like the motivation of, okay, we have to do this again. I was the last race to go and it's kind of nerve wracking because you don't know the results of the races before you. And so you're racing, obviously going to win, but there's also possibility that you could get second and still win the championship. So we were definitely trying to stay calm and not stressed and at the start line just like breathing relaxing and making sure we're not thinking about what happened in the other races definitely going down the course we started off like we weren't winning and i think we just had that confidence we trusted our fitness trusted each other and it worked out well for us it was just like the greatest feeling everyone was like cheering we were so excited and it felt like we had won our race we had won the championship like we were so excited like everyone's like we're going to florida and it was just like a great moment for all of us together as a team coming off eastern sprints i think we really identified some points of focus that we needed to improve on and you know throughout the season we were just constantly putting those pieces together to get that perfect race we were looking for and i think it was a really great learning experience for the team and everyone came back really energized you know finals behind us just ready to kind of put our heads down and get to work we really stepped on when we came back we got the Monday off after sprints, and then that next Tuesday, everyone was just super fired up to be at the boathouse and did a little bit of seat racing, which got the competitive uh, nature of the boathouse back. And then those next two or three weeks, everyone was just so excited to go to the boathouse every day, and I think that really set us up to do uh, very well at the IRA. I think something that made this year really special was that we had a really deep field of a lot of really great teams and great athletes out there, you know, Olympians and world champions and a lot of these boats in those top uh, schools. And, you know, we're a big believer on the team of bottom-up pressure. So I think that coming out to the end of the season, that's something we really saw increase a lot, was that bottom-up pressure of the four, you know, pushing the 2V and the 2V pushing the 1V to increase their speed every day. The day before in our semi, we came, you know, only a couple tenths of a second off of Princeton. And you know they are a crew who had beat us in the past. So as we were happy with that you know move we made on them, we knew that we had to really you know even get more on them the next day because they were coming ready to fight again, ready to take back the victory they had over us at the Eastern Sprints. We beat a Princeton crew who was a crew that got I believe fourth at Eastern Sprints and had beat us in that heat that same day. And so it was really gratifying to beat them. It's really fun to rewatch that race because we took a pretty big push as a crew. We just dropped that Princeton crew. I think this year in particular, the team was really close, which was something that was so encouraging to see. So I think that in itself, that everyone was really able to get along well and you know kind of mesh well together, definitely helped us a lot with our success we had this season. And not only that, but when school ended and you know we were in that IRA camp, I think that everyone was just really bringing the energy up. I think that just continuing to stack on CAA titles back to back is really something that's pushing the program and through the races all through the season culminating with the CAAs I think that results are very important in getting top recruits to see our program especially beating bigger name schools like Harvard and I think that's something that moving forward will be really helpful for the program. Just continuing the success we've had and like building off of it each year I know we're in great hands next year with our captains we have a lot of younger girls on the team who've been very successful. So I think it's just continuing like the momentum we've had and kind of like building on that. So we're hoping to, you know, next year really flip some of the results that we had this year. You know, have a victory over Brown, hopefully, you know, retain the Harvard Cup again and, you know, really see ourselves making a statement in the grand final of the IRA. I think definitely our goal for next year is going to be top 15. That's something that we're working towards every year and I think we're at that point with incoming athletes and with the team we currently have that we can push that. 
And I think that going into it, everyone is really motivated, especially coming off of our result at NCAAs this year. Training through the summer and into the fall, we're really looking forward to what we can do as a team this spring. 